so you've seen the view for the night this is where I'm going to have my dinner I got a Tesco meal deal for dinner oh had an accident left this in the back with the straw still in so what happened went around the bend that went over all water all over the floor all into my sort of roll mat bed it's just soaked it up so that's going to be fun for tonight I got a protein pot yogurt thing for a snack Dr Pepper drink got loads of water here so I thought I'd some energy and dairy milk brownie bits. I'm good. I'm good, really. I'm well behaved. And this is honey mustard chicken pasta. Tomorrow I've got another meal deal for lunch. And then I've got my dinner as well. I've got a Rustler burger and a packet of rice. It's better than eating crisps all the time. Just thinking like, as soon as I finish work, I can go straight to the kitchen, microwave the Rustler burger and the rice, eat that. And then there's no washing up and I go straight to the van after and chill. That's the plan. in the mill deal I'll probably have a few more bits of this and I'll save the other half for tomorrow as a little treat so this is day three the reason of the video really is I was going to show you my sleeping setup that's my bin bag light blocker at the moment <laughs> I'm hoping by the end of next week I'll be able to start implementing some of your ideas and I've screenshotted them I've added them to a notes document I might even do a video where I go through all your suggestions uh, and I've also got another note for van names uh, we've had Dick Van Dyke we've had Virgil Van Dyke we've had Van Cleef then he's Van Allen <laughs> um, I don't know I don't know but yeah so after I've eaten which is now I'm going to just chill out with the view for a bit off the beach and then I will show you my sleeping setup currently and it's currently wet because of the water spillage <laughs> but yeah I'll show the sleeping setup how I company and laying the bed out how I sleep that potentially in like maybe a month will have changed but I do appreciate all the suggestions it's helping me and I've laid them out and I know what I'll do next and the next step probably will be putting the sound deadening in and putting the insulation on the roof and the sides for now I don't think I'm going to sleep the floor just yet, but I will vinyl the floor. So I'm just trying to work that out, budget all, and then it will be in the bed. Whether I get a ready-made kit from eBay or I, I don't own power tools or anything. Maybe there's a way that I can speak to someone who I know that might be able to help me build one. Uh, originally I wanted the bed on passenger side. But now I'm thinking it's probably best on the driver's side because the driver's seat does go forward as well. So, <coughs> so that might be the better idea. Uh, but then I'm worried about losing all that storage above the bed. I won't be able to sit on the bed as a chair. So that might not benefit. So maybe I'm best just having a chair, so a chair, a bed that goes wider, allows me to sleep with storage underneath it shelves to the side so I don't have to sleep underneath the shelves and if I want to sit on it 
I can just sit on the bed like a chair, can't I? Just lean back against the back doors, put some cushions there and stuff. I'm leaning more towards that idea. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, you could elevate the floor up a foot, a foot and a half. At the bed there, which covers nearly the old van. And then underneath, you just have drawers that you pull out with all your stuff. From the side door, partition going that way, out the side door, and then some drawers going out the back doors. I don't know. Ideas are bouncing around there, but yeah, like you said, sound deadening, get that done and get the insulation on the roof and the sides priority. Definitely agree. And then the bulkhead, get priced up and sold. But I was told I need to reclassify the vehicle as a two seater, so I don't know if that's going to affect the insurance or I don't know. But that's something I can look at again in the future. Uh, and I was also told about if I get a power station, rather than getting a uh, diesel heater, which everyone's suggesting, because I don't know how to plumb it in and stuff, plumb it in, line it in, whatever it is. Uh, someone said, don't mess around with diesel or gases for your heating. Go get a trucker's, trucker's night heater and hook it up to your power station run it for 15-20 minutes uh, and that will heat the small space and there's no emissions. I don't know, that's what I was told. So that's another thing to worth a look at I guess. A little night heater, it's not a big space to warm up so. Ah, it'd be nice to start ticking some of these things off. But the power stations, so expensive aren't they? Do you realise how dear they were? Uh, I was hoping I can get one of them, get those rain guards over the window, leave them open slightly, and then at work, park up, leave the cool running out the side window, and have the panels charging throughout the day, even in winter, it might boost it a bit, and that might allow, may allow me to run a night heater, like the trucks do, or, or either way, it's got to run my devices, very hard to edit without me um, laptop. My phone has no memory. <laughs> and I've had no data for seven days because I've run out of data since moving. I have no data. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, so I'm look, six minutes. Wow. I'll come back in a bit. I'm going to enjoy the view. And then I'll come back and show you my sleep setup. Okay, I have parked up and I have get myself ready for sleeping. So what is my sleeping setup? Um I don't wait to get the light here that actually kind of lights me up. Um maybe there. Um that's a bit better. Maybe like that. There we go. Right, so yeah, I have a sleep setup currently. And I push down the front third seat on the passenger side. I stuff my sleeping pad through there so I have a bit of foot room. There's a towel hanging off the chairs, which sort of gives me a bit more privacy. Hangs over. I then have a blue sleeping bag that hangs over me. And then I've got a second sleeping bag that goes over that. Last night I was too hot. But I guess in winter that will start becoming useful and I potentially will sleep up, zip up one sleeping bag with the other one on top of that. Then I just have pillows here, two pillows. I have two cushions wedged against the back, just in case I whack my head on it. And then down the bottom I've got that cushion I showed you the other day, like the one you put at the bottom doors to stop the draft coming through. I've got that there. Now none of this is airtight, so... It will still have a bit of air, um, breeze coming through potentially and stuff, but it does the job. But my bed on the floor is wet after I spilt my drink earlier, so that's fun. And then I wear, oops, sorry, Mike. I then wear these pajamas. 
it's like trouser and a jumper. I don't normally wear pajamas in bed at home in houses. So this is the first time I've been wearing pajamas in a long time. Uh, but I did it in case I have to get out and do something and I'm not in my pants, I'm naked. And I wear them just in case I need a bit of warmth. But at the moment I've been okay. There's a slight bit of conversation just starting to form on the ceiling here. Um, so I know within the next two to three weeks that's going to become even bigger. And then I've got that to deal with. So I'm hoping to get another paycheck next week. I can start getting some of the bits and then we'll get those little rain guards which allows me to crack the windows open to let a bit of air in. That might minimise that a bit. And then I'll start getting that insulation stuck on the on the roof, even if I only do the roof first. And then gradually build the sides. Yeah, so that's my sleeping setup. Yeah. Just try and do this angle. As you can see, but there's a blue sleeping bag, which I have here. And then I've got this sleeping bag which goes over the top. Sorry, microphone again. So that other bag goes over the top. And then I sort of just chuck it over my feet into that little footwell, which is over there. That's my little foot gap. And that's it. They sort of separate or they join sometimes, but it's like having a duvet, I guess. Pick a duvet. <laughs> oh well. I know you come here to watch these videos for the professionalism and the camera angles and the good quality audio. Well, there we go. So, that is my sleeping setup at the moment. I'm on day four of doing this and I'll probably be like this for another couple of weeks. Things are slowly starting to come together though. Um, the bin bag, blinds are working. I've got battery lights that are working for now, two sleeping bags. And yeah, like I said, another two paychecks. I can then do the first thing on the list. And we'll go through the list actually, I think together. What you've suggested and things I've come up with. And then we can start tackling, hopefully you can help me like stage by stage, what to do next. But first it's gonna be sound deadening on the roof. We'll get some of those sound deadening boards on the sides and the insulation on the roof. They're the first steps. Uh, might even pull everything out and get that vinyl down on the floor as well. I don't think I'm going to insulate the floor. Heat rises. Um, so I want it to go up and bounce back down. I know the cold, if you're connected to the floor, is it convection, can pull the heat out of you. But I do have a mat in between me and the ground, uh, then the the bottom of the vehicle and that's also elevated above the car so it's a bit like sleeping in a hammock I guess um, so yeah I'm off the ground by this little mat we'll see if I start feeling cold on the floor through the mat then I'll insulate the bottom but it's not a priority roof sides sound deadening insulation yes um, Getting a curtain for privacy rather than plastic bags, yes. And then removing the bulkhead, declassifying it as a three to a two seat will probably come after that. Hopefully at the same time, I can start getting this sort of bed built slash chair and shelves. But how do you, This is I know it sounds stupid. I've watched YouTube videos many times of people doing it. And now it comes to me having a van and I can't remember anything. How do you attach shelves to the van without going through the metal? Am I being bonkers? Like, I'm worried now. Like, if I try to put a shelf up, I'm going to put a screw through and it come out the other side of the van. That's a really dumb thing to say, isn't it? But how do you do it? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So yeah, that's my sleeping setup. I'm now ready. In oh. These magnet lights can be quite annoying. The amount of times I smack them with my head. Um, really noises. That's my sleeping setup. 
it's all right for now. Would I want it forever? Probably not. But it's a small van. Everything's piled on top of each other. It's a bit messy. <sighs> but slowly, yeah, slowly things will come into order. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. But yeah, we're on day four. I'm going to chill out. I charged me my iPad at work today, so I can actually chill out and watch something. Uh, got no data till Thursday. But that's the next thing I need to do. This phone is so bad. I've got no memory. The mic's broke, that's why I'm using this one on my chest. Even that don't always work. So hopefully, as well, a new phone will allow me to record better. And new data plan, hopefully, so I can actually edit and upload stuff. So hopefully yeah, I can use my data plan and edit and upload without relying on like being parked next to work to get their Wi-Fi. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks for all your support though, all your comments and all your encouragement and help. I really appreciate it. It's really helping me. Thank you so much. And we'll speak soon.